I'm going to be awkward. Sorry. I am not liable to any spoilers below in the comments, okay? That is that is viewer discretion advised, okay? So don't judge me. This is my opinion, biased opinion going into the movie with the knowledge that I know from previous movies that I've seen. So yeah. So I watched Black Panther Wakanda Forever yesterday and I have a couple of thoughts. I was looking forward to watching this movie uh, when the trailer first released because of the Mayan um, culture that was being represented, everything that was in this film. Uh, I have no complaints. They did it very well. Good job, Marvel. However, that's not what this video is about. I will, I will say this, I will preference this. The cinematography, music choice, uh, and acting were phenomenal in this movie. They're good actors, I will not deny that. It was a lot of dialogue, not too much action. The dialogue scenes were great. Um, the action scenes were a little at the end, but the CGI was great though. It's a little bit, I, it felt very staged, if that makes sense very choreographed but that is marvel movies so i don't i don't i think i've been watching too much house of the dragon which looks very real so i have a hard time to take things seriously now there were scenes that were beautifully well written and there's some scenes that i felt could have done a little better in my opinion um however the last 60 minutes of the film I felt kind of lost with the story, if that makes sense. The movie was doing fine up until then. So the antagonist of the story, Namor, um, he reminded me a lot of Aquaman. Uh, besides the wings at his ankles, I'm going based off of the movies, but not really so much the comic book characters. Essentially, he wants to destroy the world. He wants to sink the world, kind of like an Aquaman. His reason is not like that, but he wants to sink the earth. I just kind of got lost with this whole story and his whole motive. Um, compared to the previous antagonist, Killmonger, in the previous Black Panther, he only had one way of thinking and he would do anything to do to get that. You know, but here, Namor, I felt more as an anti-hero than an than a true villain, you know what I mean? I feel like he didn't really want to sink the world, he just used that as a threat. Well, I only watched this movie once, so I might get things wrong. I will say this, the first hour I felt like was great. I was, I knew where this movie was leading up to. I also thought that they handled Chadwick Boseman's death, or T'Challa's death, uh, very respectfully. They did, like, they didn't do anything wrong there. I felt like he, did, he he played that character very honorably, and it's going to be hard to replace him. So if you haven't seen watch the movie yet, go in with thinking that, okay? To be honest, I felt like Shuri would, would have been the best pick. You know, she's the sister of T'Challa. She's, you know, a reputable character, very respected character. Choosing Shuri as the new Black Panther was bright. Who else, you know, who else than Shuri? To be the new Black Panther, you know? How they executed that and how they made her the Black Panther was odd. It felt rushed the way that they she got her powers. The whole thing, first Black Panther, was him becoming the Black Panther, right? Meeting his ancestors and him also being king was very emphasized in the first movie. The Black Panther, okay? She needs to become the Black Panther because that's somehow the only solution here. Once she got her powers, the person that she was changed starts one way. I'm like, oh, this is different. That second change, there was no explanation why. But I have an idea, I have a theory, but I'm not sure. As a viewer that's going in, watching the first movie and then coming into this one, I wish they would have explained more about the power and how it really works. Maybe I'm missing something, I don't really know. I can't, <laughs> it's really hard to explain my thoughts without spoiling too much. Um, a minor uh, thing I wanna say about Marvel and many other production companies, they have this tendency to throw characters' lives around. 
for the sake of the protagonist's uh, motives. It's just so many things are happening and then trying to fit that all in, it's gonna be hard for character development. Also, the movie was extremely long. There's so many movies that are so good that are like uh, three hours long. But when a movie starts to feel long, that's when you need to cut something out. It, it's like YouTube edit, video editing. If my video is too long or there's a certain part where it drags out too long and I know viewers will like click off, that part I need to shorten. It's two hours and 41 minutes. Okay, and while watching this movie, I thought to myself, this is a long movie. Things could have been cut out, things could have been shortened. Pair this to another movie that is equally the same amount of time. The Batman, for example, is about two hours and 56 minutes. When I watched The Batman, two hours and 56 minutes did not feel like anything. Didn't feel like anything. <laughs> if the scenes are entertaining and they have a purpose that supports the main plot and characters, the movie's great. One meaning, one goal. Entertaining overall. That's the only critique, well, the last critique that I have of this movie. That's all I have to say for uh, right now. That's These are my thoughts going in right after watching the movie. Uh, so I might miss some things. I might mess up a little bit of things. So correct me if I'm wrong in anything. Let it out. Rant to me. I need to learn anyways. Uh, so 7 out of 10 for me. Oh, I think of the main thing was lack of character development. The rest I thought was absolutely beautifully done. Beautifully executed, well done. <laughs> does this movie receive a Mexican approval? Yes, it does. Mexican approved. <sighs> That's it. That's all I gotta say. I will say this. I'm not, not spoiling. No spoilers. The end credit scene was it was different than any other Marvel movie. I will say. It did add to the Phase Four, but it didn't at the same time. Anyways, that's it. See ya.